Um, in this video, I'm going to discuss about this uh, PD and DD combination of atomic orbitals from uh, molecular orbital theory from the chapter chemical bonding. Yes. Now, uh, let's discuss first about this, uh, how this uh, P and D orbitals of different atoms uh, combine or overlap to form this molecular orbitals. Yes. Here, uh, the P orbital of one atom here combines with the D orbital of another atom, then it is called as PD combination, right? Now, when we look at the picture of this, we can understand it, right? The P orbital of one atom combines with the D orbital of another atom, that is DXY. This is of the type DXY, that is the lobes are oriented uh, in between the axis, that is X and Y axis. This is Y axis, this is X, right? So this is X and Y axis, uh, so this DXY orbital. And this type of combination uh, uh, takes place in such a way that the orbitals are not oriented along the internuclear axis, that is they are uh, perpendicular to the internuclear axis, that means it results in the phi uh, type of bonding here. So uh, since the lateral overlap is occurring, this is a pi type of overlapping. And here, when the overlap, I mean, the combination occurs in phase, that means addition is occurring, that means positive lobe of this P and uh, overlaps uh, with the positive and negative lobes of this DXY, that means in phase, that means constructive interference results in the formation of this pi bonding molecular orbital. This is of the pi type, and this is bonding molecular orbital. And we can see that is a, uh, it is uh, resulting in the formation of this ungerate molecular orbital. That means there is no symmetry that is uneven. So, and again, there is a, a overlap uh, is occurring in such a way that is out of phase overlap that positive uh, lobe of this overlaps with the negative and negative of this overlaps with the positive of DXY, then results in the formation of anti-bonding molecular orbital represented by this pi star and this is of the type G ray. That means it has a symmetry. This is symmetrical. So this uh, overlap of P and D orbitals of this resulting in the formation of this pi type of overlapping uh, since uh, the overlapping in, uh, occurring in a lateral way. That means lobes are not oriented along the internuclear axis resulting in the formation of two atomic orbitals that is bonding molecular orbital and anti-bonding molecular orbital represented by pi and pi star. But bonding molecular orbital, as we know, it's lower in energy when compared to that of this, any of the two atomic orbitals. Anti-bonding molecular orbital is higher in energy when compared to that of the, any of the two molecular orbitals. Yes. And where do you uh, observe this type of bonding actually? So this PD combination of orbitals is observed first in, uh, in the formation of oxides or oxo acids also in oxides and oxo acids of phosphorus and sulfur that means P2O5 um, or HPO3, whatever, oxo acids or oxides of phosphorus and sulfur, and also in the transition metal complexes. So this uh, type of combination we can see in uh, transition uh, metal complexes, such as uh, carbonyls or cyanides and cyanides. So these are the examples where we can see the P, D combination of these atomic orbitals. Yes, uh, this is what I said in my previous video, like uh, uh, oxides and oxo acids of phosphorus and sulfur and transition metal complexes like cyanides and cy cyanides and carbonates. Right, now let's say about this DD combination, that means D orbital of one atom overlaps with the D orbit of another atom, then that type of combination is called as DD combination. Right, so it also produces bonding molecular orbital and anti-bonding molecular orbital, but here we can represent this by delta and not sigma pi. So delta and delta star. Right, so first of all, when we are the SS combination resulting in the sigma, SP combination also resulted in sigma, PP combination resulted in sigma and also pi when it is 
uh, when the lobes of the p orbitals oriented along the internuclear axis, then sigma. When uh, p orbitals are oriented perpendicular to the internuclear axis, it was resulting in pi. Right? Uh, the other type we've also seen PD. PD also uh, resulted in pi. Now, this DD combination is here is sigma, pi, and this is called as delta. So it, uh, delta and uh, delta sir, there's a bonding molecular orbital here is represented by delta and anti-bonding molecular orbital, which is represented by delta star here. Let's come to this non-bonding molecular orbitals here. Right. So what is non-bonding combination of atomic orbitals? Yes, until now we have seen that if there is in phase overlap, that means when the uh, atoms, uh, I mean, uh, having the same um, sign are overlapping, uh, the wave function, that means uh, in constructive interference resulting in the bonding molecular orbitals or out of phase overlap, destructive interference anti bonding molecular orbital. But there are also some other combination where we can see uh, here this type of combination, but S of this is overlapping with the P by or P set, that means which is oriented, uh, the lobes of which are oriented perpendicular to the internuclear axis, so this will result in this type of bonding. So let me try it clearly. So this is plus, this is plus, and this is minus, right? This type of overlap, this type of combinations, what you happen, what is happening is any stabilization which is causing because of this plus and plus, here we overlap of this plus sign of this S orbital with the plus sign of this P orbital is deemed stabilized with the overlap of the plus sign of this orbital with the minus sign of this overlap. Because this is equal here, this is an equal amount. So any stabilization which results from plus with minus is destabilized with equal amount of overlap of plus and minus. So there is no overall change in energy. The energy which is decreased by the plus plus overlap is increased by the plus minus overlap. So there is no overall change in energy and such type of combinations are called as non-bonding type of combinations. Right. We can also see this in the P type of combinations also where uh, this is oriented along the internuclear axis of the PX type. So, this is minus, this is plus, when the d orbital of uh, d y z, uh, like this one, d, yes. So, a little more clearly. So this is plus, this is minus, minus, plus. So here, this is overlap, which is one. This is overlap of plus and minus. This is also, this is overlap, this is overlap. So any type of stabilization, which is caused by plus, plus overlap is destabilized by plus, minus. There is no, no overall change in energy, right? This is a non-bonding combination of atomic orbitals. Right. So if you like my um, video, please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. The whole chapter has been discussed on my YouTube channel. You can go through it and the details of this description has been given in the description box below.